Hamilton, Ontario, the home of the three-time Canadian Premier League champions, is where a new week begins in the Canadian Premier League as we say good evening and welcome to match week 16 in the Canadian Premier League. And Bobby Smirnaut is not tinkering with a good thing. In fact, it was a great thing. Friday night on Vancouver Island. 2 they beat Pacific. They remain in that same 4-3-3. Vancouver FC, much different story. Some rotation for them due to injuries and notably suspensions. No TJ Tahid, Marcus Simmons, Amir Kanani, Nima Mozenizade, Arpelli Martinez. In fact, only four outfield substitutions today. Just as the clock moves into the 14th minute, we have Kyle Becker, a right-footed option, and Tristan Borges on his left. Let's see what Forge come up with. Becker attacks Callum Irving's goal. Both fists to it from the Vancouver keeper to parry it over the bar. And Forge will walk right back, have another set piece, this time from the corner flag. Of course, if this were to finish as a draw, Forge would get point 27. and would not take top spot in the table as Cavalry would have them on goal differential. The second tiebreaker, both of these clubs would be on seven points. Here's Quintana, kick save from Tristan Henry as Mickey was ready to run. And the Forge keeper, the first time he's really been tested tonight. It's gonna be something to watch as well. It's been a while since. Gorgeous, low cross, that was inch perfect. What a glorious opportunity for Taron Campbell. How many entries into the final third were they able to muster together, but nothing to show for it. Turnover from Vancouver. Campbell receives the ball oh so well. Now drives a shot at Irving. Quick reactionary stop. Romeo heads it back. Callum Irving ready as he was tested. My love for vexillology is probably the nerdiest thing about me. Fantastic. Batar for Crawford. Cuts it back. Hundal! Kick save from Henry. Unconventional, but effective for the Forge goalkeeper as they were completely picked apart. Give him a bit of the benefit of the doubt. He is a natural center back. Not to say he's incapable, but that's not a practice maneuver for him. Diaz. That finds Hundal. Close quarters. Bounces off Henry's face. And Alex Ashnyoti Janssen clears. Forge have been hemmed the last three or four minutes. The fans are starting to cheer. Look at the Forge first. Oh, Darren Campbell. Oh, look at this orange shirt. Romeo striding to close down the space. Irving makes another good stop. Couldn't corral the rebound. Forge will get a corner out of it. Congested midfield's being skipped over right now. Sissoko. Crawford bites a little bit. Opens it up for Bubakar. Still driving. Bubakar Sissoko. Substitute the big reward for Bobby Smirniotis. Yeah, you have to say, the first half, Forge deserved to have a goal or two. In moments like this, Becker across the Pasillas, doubling up Vancouver, and Kyle Becker with another brilliant bit of service, and he's rewarded for it this time. Two goals in the blink of an eye, just about two minutes apart. Well, and I think these stable lineups allow you to blood young players really nicely. There's Tyler Crawford, and they got caught out. Crawford needs to keep that low. 90th minute now, no reason to add a ton of extra time. Jima turning, firing. Maybe surprising Tristan Henry a little bit. A very frustrated Tristan Borges, but for me, it doesn't excuse that. That's a good set of match and a powder pick. Batar wins it down. That takes a deflection. Should be a Vancouver corner. That would be good referee management if you just knock this off. Well, not a great performance from Forge, but more than enough. Two substitutions from Bobby Smirniotis in the second half turn into two goals. 71st and 73rd minute in what had been a physical, cagey affair between two managers with a ton of respect for each other.